welcome back to yet another Wrath of the Lich King gold making guide. Now this is in the pre-patch and this is a pretty, pretty good open world farm. Now why this is so good is there's a whole heap of monsters that are spread out here. As you can see down below, there's like a, a valley way with just full of mobs. So it's right here in Shadow Moon Valley, basically where that line is, is where they're going to spawn. Now there is a couple of elites here, but the majority of them are just normal mobs and you can down them pretty quick. They got about 7k health. But if you want more gold making guides, my gold making guide will be linked down below. But back to the video, as you can see they're absolutely everywhere. There's an odd big like stone guy elite. Now if you have mining, you can actually make a bit more gold here by mining them too after you loot them. But the majority of the gold is going to come from venerables, raw gold, cloths, and it all adds up here. So as you can see, you can pull a whole heap of these at once, that's why it's really good. You can do this on any class really, but the classes with AoE will be able to do this the best, so like a protection paladin, mages, um, like DKs, um, they're probably the best to run here, but you can come here in absolutely any class. And you're also going to get the Sun Fury Signets too, which some people are buying at the end of the, um, the expansion here right now, just to finish off using them. Alright, so we've got another pool right here. You should be expecting to make around 250 gold per hour here. Depends on your RNG and what, what is dropping for you. Obviously the more BOEs that you get, is the more gold you're going to make per hour, like raw gold. Now you could also have enchanting some of these items, um, they're pretty high level so you actually get some decent enchanting materials from them. So you could come here with enchanting and also first aid and you could turn the cloth into bandages to vendor them. If they're not worth selling on your auction house, you'd have to check your auction house first. You could do that and you could also disenchant all of the greens that you get and then sell all of the enchanting materials. Here we go, we've got a few elites in this pool. So what I like to do if you actually pull one of the big rock guys, I like to make sure they die away from the rest of the pack because they're so big and they actually have a mining, um, a mining option like when you kill them. And so you can't actually loot what is under them. Well, it's really hard to get an actual loot off on the other little things that are under the big guys. So as you can see there, I like to keep the big stone guy away from the main loot pile if possible. It just makes looting like a lot easier. But like I mentioned before, if you're interested in making gold in Wrath of the Lich King, my gold making guide will be linked down in the description box below this video. Until next one, take care.